Okay, well, I'm working with a new uh, circuit for the crystal cell project, and I found this one online and uh, built it up. And uh, the uh, gentleman that posted it is right there, and this is a low power LED flasher circuit that works on about a volt and uh, goes down around uh, under a milliamp to work. And this is the circuit right here. And it's an old circuit, and uh, he has modified it, and I like the fact that this gentleman here uh, didn't claim full authorship, that it's actually an old circuit that he's modified. And so I'm giving him full credit for this because of the way he presented the circuit. And it's like the blocking oscillator circuits that people are claiming are theirs. It, they're old, and they're just modifying it, and that's what he did here. And if anyone out there uh, understands exactly how this works, I'll leave a comment because I'm not exactly sure how this inductor flashes the LED, but uh, somebody out there might understand this better than I do. But you notice it's just one coil. It's not two coils like the blocking oscillator circuits. And I'm just using a, a radial choke. Uh, that's a 56 uh, micro Henry choke. I bought it off Electronic Gold Mine. They're real cheap. And it just uses this complementary pair of transistors here to build up a charge in that coil and then uh, run the oscillator. And I'm not exactly sure if the LED is being flashed with a back feed from that or it's a charge pump from the capacitor. So somebody out there might understand this circuit better and explain to me how it actually operates. But it works quite well. And I added a solar panel to it for my particular application and uh, I'm lid motor and this is the uh, 26th of February 2012 and there's my new little testing device and what I was looking for was something that put out more light uh, more lumens of light because we're now working with better crystal cells and this is John Bedini's hydrate cell which is very good and I highly recommend uh, uh, anyone interested in this project to start studying John Bedini's uh, crystal cells he's getting better and better at them and you can actually buy this one from him right now I built my own but um, they're effective they run on water there's a standing voltage on it right now uh, there's no amp draw on this I don't have it connected so I wanted to show you how this works this oscillator I wanted so that I could use just light from a flashlight to test the oscillator without a battery or anything let me turn the radio on so you hear it here. And I made this so that uh, the flash rate was such that I could turn it way down so it's barely blinking. Or I could turn it up to where you don't notice it's blinking. And at around 60 hertz or so, our eyeballs can't really tell the blink. And that's what I wanted. I wanted something like that, that blinked at a rate that uh, was still blinking, but it was at a slow, slow enough rate that we couldn't see it. Let me put the uh, cell on here now. And there's the oscillator going with the cell. There's the amp draw on it. It's about 300, 200, 300 microamps. There's cell voltage dropping down. And what I wanted to show here was if I put the flashlight on the solar panel, solar cell, this is going to go to a minus. It's going to feed energy back into this cell. This voltage here is going to climb. And let me do that. I'll put the flashlight on it. Notice the minus now on the meter. Notice the cell voltage has gone up. So what this is doing, it's helping out the cell, and it's actually pumping energy back into it. Take the flashlight off. There goes the amp draw coming out of the cell. There's the cell voltage back down and dropping. Put the flashlight back on it. There goes the cell voltage up. And there goes a minus on the meter with the energy going backwards into the cell. 
And John and I have talked about this, that these uh, crystalline cells are showing signs of being able to be recharged. And that was one of the main reasons I built this device right here, was I wanted to see if that was actually true. And then also build something that had more lumens of light and flash this at a rate that I couldn't see the blink. That was a more effective light than Penny. And uh, this is broad daylight, and uh, this is actually pretty effective. Now notice my amp draw is just under one milliamp. There's my cell voltage dropping down. This will drop down to just under one volt under full load. At two or three days, this will drop down to a point where the oscillator won't run anymore, and I have to add about two milliliters of water, and then it'll run for another couple of days. And I've been doing this off and on for several weeks now to test this cell. And all I can tell you folks is that cell right there does what John says it does. And you can either build your own, I gave the link to the instructions, or you can buy it from him. But I recommend it. This oscillator right here, I also recommend. And that's the gentleman that posted the circuit diagram right there. Anyway, that's the latest with my crystal cell project. Thanks for watching.